move of pros think that the classic finish of his swing is virtually in a class by itself. Just look at that finish. Let's talk for a moment about driving for accuracy. And this particular hole demands an accurate tee shot. The trick to the right is the first obstacle. Its branches are too low to risk driving under them. If I try to fade around the tree, I'm likely to end up in more trees to the right. And a very bad slide could go out of bounds. On the other hand, if I hook or even draw the ball a little too much, I'm a stench to be in the forest of tall trees to the left. And to add spice to the picture, there's a sand trap with a high bank about 200 yards out, just in front of our caddy there, to catch a short drive. Now this hole isn't long. I could hit an iron short of the trap, then hit another to the green with a good chance for a par. But if I can hit a fairly straight drive through the narrow opening and carry the bunker, then I'm within pitching distance of the pin with a good chance for a birdie and almost a cinch par. In driving for accuracy on a hole like this, I observed three simple rules. First, I tried to select a specific target to shoot at. I don't just aim at the fairway and hope for the best. In this case, I'll be aiming for the spot where we have stationed the K. It's very important to visualize in your mind the drive working toward the selected target. Second, I'll make absolutely certain that my feet Incidentally, when the pros get to talking about the perfect swinger who may someday come along, 